Hi guys, this is Shivariti. Welcome to Core Java Tutorials. In this session, I will explain what is hash table, when to use it, with a few examples. So let us go ahead and start the Eclipse, and I will explain this concept using an example. So I am going to create a new class, and uh, I am giving class name as hash table, hash table demo. As table demo I will that I would like to have a main method so select the main method click finish initially I explain uh, this hash table using the string uh, by adding the integer as a key and uh, string as a value object and uh, then and the and the follow-up I will explain using how to work with the user defined objects so hash table is also one of the implementation of the map interface so this map always whenever you have a requirement uh, like to map with the key and value then the best is suitable option is either we have to select the hash map or the hash table so in the previous session i explained when to use the hash map so in this session i will explain when to use the hash table so i am going to create a variable name as hash table equal to new hash table and uh, hash table and uh, here I am going to give uh, it is key will be the integer and uh, value is going to be the string okay so now I am going to add few uh, object to this ma uh, to the hash table here we need to import from the java.util package now I am going to add few key and value to the hash table dot put it is also similar to the hash uh, map so integer 101 I am giving as a Shiva as a value and uh, uh, similarly I am going to add few more uh, value and uh, uh, key and value to the hash table okay and uh, 101 8 I'm randomly giving some numbers 2 and 4 7 and uh, here I am giving as a pretty hello and a test I'm giving randomly some values so once you created a hash table with the four uh, key and uh, value pairs now we need to iterate so the same way how we iterated through the hash map same way we are going to iterate so hash table dot entry set so it is going to return the set of map entries so set map uh, dot entry entry of integer comma string I am going to give this one as a entries okay so I need to import this set from the Java Tutorial package so this is done now I can iterate to using this uh, entries for this I am going to use the for each loop where it has a map dot entry of uh, integer and uh, value is string value is string and uh, emp let us consider and uh, i am giving as a entries okay now uh, i can uh, use this uh, entry it has uh, both the key and the value so i am going to print that key and the value here so key is okay key is sorry it is double quotes key is plus entries uh, sorry emp dot get key this is going to return the key correspond uh, to the corresponding object and uh, value is plus emp 
dot get value so pretty much done with the uh, our basic uh, programming for hash table now i am going to run this program if you see the run uh, if you run this program you will see output key and value okay so now let us understand what are the what are the main uh, 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 characteristics of hash table the first one is hash table by default it is thread safe that means by default it implements synchronization mechanism uh, to the hash table whatever the uh, objects we are going to add to the hash table those are thread safe that means only one thread at a time it can access the has table uh, value and next one is it does not allow duplicates and also okay so another one is when i add put of 108 comma uh, test in order to say it does not allow the duplicates it uh, we can say that even though we add uh, duplicates uh, to the map the latest value whatever the uh, value we are going to add this value is going to be overhead to the previous one so in the case of uh, here uh, what i am doing is i am giving key values of 107 and test and uh, again i am adding the same key 107 and value i am giving as a test one so if i run this program you will see that the 107 test one is going to be test one as a value that means this value is going to be override this value previous value hence hash table always overrides the uh, previous value with the uh, new value if it in the case of it is the same uh, key is there and next one is it does not allow null uh, as a key in the case of hash map it is going to allow but here it will not allow for example if i give as a null as a key and value as a test then it won't work it is going to give you an it is going to give you an error so null pointer exception so these are the few properties of the hash table so what is the basic difference between the hash table and hash map in the case of hash map uh, it is going to uh, it is a uh, non uh, synchronized that means it is not the thread safe but hash table is a thread safe and second one is uh, hash map hello one key as a null but in the case of hash table it does not allow null keys and uh, whatever the uh, objects which are added to the hash table is synchronized in the case of hash, uh, hash map it is not and in your project requirement is uh, whenever you are going to identify a particular key to map to the particular object or the list of object then the best choice to uh, in the collection is hash table or the hash map but if you are working with the multi-threaded environment hash table is going to be the best suitable but remember one thing whenever you use the hash table uh, only one thread at a time it can access the uh, total uh, hash table object hence it will uh, degrade the performance so take a wise decision while choosing hash map or the hash table but in the later java 1.5 and 1.6 the latest features come with the concurrency and the synchronized uh, uh, implementations so i will explain those concepts in the next uh, tutorials but at this point of time so if you have working with the multi-threaded environment and you are make sure that that only one thread at a time it can access the um, your shared resources then use the hash table otherwise you go for the hash map thanks for watching and uh, sorry so I am um, going to explain one more concept here using the user defined object also in this so let us go ahead and uh, see that concept also in order to explain the user defined object I am going to use uh, the employee class this is the class I am taking a reference for whenever uh, throughout my uh, tutorial uh, while explaining the uh, collections so in this employee class I have a two member variables employee ID and employee name I have created a one constructor 
to initialize these objects and I also have a setter getter methods and finally I have a display method to display these values. Now I am going to use this uh, class to explain uh, hash table uh, with the user defined objects. So instead of string now I am going to use the employee class. So employee here I am going to use a employee. Now I am going to add I am going to create a few employee objects emp1 equal to new employee of not one I am giving as a test one or shiva ready one okay now I am going to create few more employee objects I just copy paste these values three four I have I am create I am renaming this uh, variable to emp2 emp3 and emp4 and also I am giving like uh, employee ID 2 or uh, not 3 and 1 not 4 and I am renaming this uh, values also 3 and 4 so I have created 4 employee objects now I am going to as, uh, add these employee object to the hash table hash table dot put so emp1 dot get employee ID and EMP one. I'm giving employee ID as a uh, key and the employee object itself as a value. So I'm going to add these four values: EMP two, EMP three, and EMP four. EMP two, three, and four. So I ha I have added four um, uh, employee object to the hash table. Now I want to iterate this exam. Uh, iterate this hash table to display the employee details. So um, earlier I set uh, explain set map dot entry of integer in this time and value is employee. And I am going to say emp hash table equal to hash table dot entry set so it is going to return the list of uh, entries now I am going to use for each loop to iterate this um, set so map dot key of integer and employee equal to emp colon hash uh, here emp hash table emp hash table now I am going to print key is emp dot get key so it returns the key and system dot out dot print ln emp object is plus uh, sorry concatenating with the uh, emp dot get value get value it is a employee object it is going to return dot it has the method of display so I am just giving the display okay and so that's all now I am going to run this program and if you see the output one second sorry here the uh, one second instead of this way we already have a display method over there so just I am going to capture to the employee EMP uh, e equal to uh, EMP dot get key sorry get value this is the employee object it is going to return now I am going to invoke the display method of the employee class now when you run this program you will see the output as key is 104, 103, 102, 101 and um, val value is going to be the employee object. So this is the how we need to implement a hash table for the user defined objects. So hope this concept is clear. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions please comment on YouTube video.